Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to our series on Python and MySQL. In this video, we're gonna go and understand how to delete a record from our database in MySQL, and then how to drop a table using Python. Let's get started. So first thing first, guys, we're gonna go ahead and create a new SQL query, in which we're gonna go ahead and delete a record. So right now, if I look at my MySQL workbench, guys, I accidentally have two mics, and I know I don't need a mic, so I'm gonna go ahead and try deleting one of these mics and see what happens. So I'm gonna say over here, SQL is equal to delete. Again, just like we have update, there's gonna be delete. And we're gonna say delete from our students where our name is equal to, and then single quotation marks, I'm gonna pass in Mike, okay? So SQL, delete from students where name is equal to Mike. What this is gonna do, guys, is it's gonna go ahead and go through our database, go through the name column, find the first Mike it finds, and then delete this entire row from our database, all right? So SQL delete from students where name is equal to Mike. Now we're gonna say Mike cursor dot execute SQL. And then remember, if we're doing a change in our database, updating, deleting, or adding, we have to use mydb.commit. So mydb.commit, and then we can go ahead and save this and run it and see what happens. So process is finished with exit code zero. Let's go ahead and run this exact same query again. Again, I'm just gonna hit the uh, sort of lightning icon over here, and then we get no mics. So the way this worked, guys, is it looked for all the different mics in our database and it deleted all of them. So now if you take a look at our database, we have Rachel, Bob, Amanda, Jacob, Avi, Michelle. You can do the exact same thing for age. You can say delete from students where age is equal to, uh, let's say 13. I wanna get rid of Bob. So in this scenario where age is equal to 13, again, it's an integer, so I don't have to put quotation marks around it. Go ahead and save that, run it. And now if I updated my query again, there's no more Bob. So again, you can use the delete command in SQL to go ahead and delete any item from your MySQL database. The second thing we're gonna cover today, guys, is deleting a complete table. Now, when you get with more complicated and more comprehensive projects, you're never just gonna have one single MySQL table. You're gonna have tons of different tables storing tons of different items. And at some point in time, you will have to delete one of those tables. So to delete a table, you're gonna go ahead and use the drop table command in SQL. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and delete our current query and say drop table. And then you're gonna go ahead and specify what table we're trying to drop. So drop table students. Go ahead and save that and run it. And now if you take a look at our MySQL workbench, guys, if I refresh my schema, I can now see that the tables has nothing. If I try running this command, I'm gonna get an error. Table test that students does not exist. So what that means now is students has been deleted from our database. However, if I actually running this command again, I'm gonna get an error. It doesn't know where testdb.students is. That's why people recommend saying drop table if exists. And what that basically does is it's basically a fail safe that hey, in case students doesn't exist, we won't have this error and the code will still run smoothly. So drop table if exists students. Now if I go ahead and run this, since student doesn't even exist and we already deleted it, the code still continues without any error. Fantastic job guys, that is how you delete an entry and how you drop a table using Python and MySQL. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.